You are in the FabEx Live session for the 2020 Chevron Awards. And before we get started, we wanted to share a short video with you about this year's Teacher Innovator Award winners. that. Now I've got to figure out how to get out of this video. I wasn't supposed to be driving. <laughs> you can go ahead and hit the escape key or the box in the bottom right hand corner to minimize it. sharing for a moment and we get to see Ben's amazing look and feel behind him one of our winners this year glad to have you here Ben okay. can you all see my screen again yes well we see you we don't see the screen here we go. Oh, thank you. So at this point in time, I would like to introduce Miss um, Karen Ross. Karen comes to us as the Social Senior Investment Advisor for Chevron. She has been our, a wonderful partner to us at the FAB Foundation. And as you all know, Chevron is a sponsor for this year's Teacher Innovator Award, which is a new award this year and also for our annual STEM Awards, which has been around for four years now. So I'm very excited to present Karen to you. Thank you, Sonia. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm happy to join my first FAB conference. Um, I've been working with the, the FAB um, for a while, but this is the first time I've actually attended the conference, so I'm super excited. Um, our partnership with the FAB Foundation started in 2014 and continues to impact STEM education across the country and in fact across the world. Since 2016, Chevron and the FAB Foundation have partnered to recognize educators that are creating STEM learning opportunities through digital fabrication. And to date, we have awarded over $40,000 to formal and informal educators from around the world. This year, it's a particularly challenging time for our educators and our students. Due to the pandemic, over 95% of the school age children are unable to learn from classroom teachers. Instead, they're learning from home. So this year, Sharon and the FAB Foundation wanted to do something to recognize the outstanding contributions that teachers continue to make, you know, during the school year and even now and during the summer. So we came up with the Teacher Innovative Award. And this year, we're to, presenting nine teachers with $6,500 to support their students during the COVID. Today, I want to acknowledge the four winners and the five finalists of the first Teacher Innovative Award. I'd like to recognize Arun Daiti Jado, Miranda Stringer, Owen Perry, and the finalists are Meredith Jones, Monique Davis, Ben Conswell, Vincent Jorlemian, and Tyler Clausen. Please join me in a round of applause for their inspiring work. And I definitely want to recognize all the teachers from around the globe for their outstanding contributions. Thank you. Thanks, Karen. Um, and congratulations to our winners again. Um, as I mentioned before, and as Karen mentioned in her remarks, that Chevron has also supported our annual STEM award. Typically, this is, award has been given to a maker or educator that focuses on a specific project, activity, or lesson. They submit that in advance of the conference, and then a group of judges would make a selection based on that. This year, because of COVID-19 and because of all of the unique challenges and solutions that teachers like our Teacher Innovator Award winners have been coming up with, we decided to take a bit of a spin on the annual uh, 2020 STEM Award. 
And so this year, the award is being announced right now here at the FabEx Live conference. And instead of focusing on a specific lesson or activity, we really want to focus on big ideas, techniques, and strategies that can offer some solution to our current realities. And so this year, applicants are required to partner with the school community where they can test and implement their idea in this upcoming academic year. We will have four winners. Each winner will receive up to $1,500 each. And we actually have two rounds of applications. The first round starting today through August 14th, and the second round goes from September 18th through October 9th. Our goal this year is to really ignite some ideas in real time that teachers and students can benefit from while taking full advantage of all the ingenuity of our Fab Lab community and network. So we're really excited to announce that that is our plan for this year's 2020 STEM Award. And later this afternoon, we'll be hosting a session where we will um, not only talk more about this, but the network, the community that is here with us today during the conference will get a chance to help us shape what those uh, focus areas around ideas and challenges may be. For example, we're hearing a lot from educators that they need uh, more robust uh, experiences and content to do online with their students. A lot of educators have talked about needing to make some kind of contact uh, with their families because students are at home with parents more often and parents need support. So we're hearing all kinds of ideas and what we really want to do through partnership with Chevron is to ignite those ideas with a little bit of funding, but also with support. And so our thinking in this year's STEM award is that not only will you have the opportunity to focus on ideas, but you will also have an opportunity to have a community support you as you cultivate those ideas with your school partner. So I encourage you to join us this afternoon at 2 p.m. where you can really begin to lay the foundation for this year's 2020 STEM award. And hopefully by the end of the academic year next year, we'll be able to celebrate a lot more teachers like those amazing teachers who are with us here today. So again, we want to congratulate the Teacher Innovator Award winners. We see you. We appreciate all that you're doing for students across the country. And we also um, want to encourage you to come to the session at 2 o'clock to help us plan for this year's STEM Award. And I'm hoping someone will put in the chat, the Zoom link and information for that. It's in the chat. It's in the chat already. Awesome, thank you. And so I think what I'll do is just go back one more time and let you uh, feast your eyes on these amazing educators who did such a great job in supporting their students in real time. Thank you for what you do every day and congratulations to you. I like the hand movement that uh, Ben is giving us. <laughs> so I'm following his lead. Round of applause again. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much. You are very welcome. It's a pleasure to, to uh, recognize you all this year. Great work, and thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, Carlotta, you're speaking. <laughs> you. It must have worked out well. Congratulations. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> and that is the end of our session. So thank you all and congratulations. And enjoy the rest of the conference. Take advantage. Network. Thanks for having us. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. <laughs>